Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lily, and today I'm gonna share with you the most exciting breakfast sausage recipe there is. And of course, it's vegan, whole food, plant-based, and super healthy and nutritious, but more importantly, it tastes so good. This has been my go-to recipe for a while now, and it is inspired from a restaurant called Bread on Oaks in New Orleans that me and my husband ate at whenever we were there a few months ago, and I just had to recreate the recipe. Um, so that we could have it here at our house anytime we want. So it's made primarily from chickpeas and it is just so full of flavor and really hits the spot. So let's go ahead and jump into the recipe and I'll show you guys how to make it for yourselves. First, I dice an onion, about half an onion, and I just dice it really fine. And then you're just gonna heat a saucepan over medium heat and add your diced onion. And you're just gonna cook your onions down until they're nice and brown. And then this is a glimpse of all of the ingredients. It's mainly for the seasonings, red pepper flakes, fennel seed, chili powder, some smoked paprika, nutritional yeast, um, some garlic and onion powder, salt and pepper. And then once your onions are caramelized, you're just gonna add your spices and seasonings and your minced garlic and continue to cook it all together until all the flavors become really good and fragrant and it forms kind of like a little paste. And then you're gonna combine all of your wet ingredients, which is um, some tamari or soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, liquid smoke, maple syrup, and vegan Worcestershire sauce. And the liquid smoke and the Worcestershire sauce are what really gives it um, another depth of flavor. And then in a food processor, you're gonna combine your oats, your walnuts, and some nutritional yeast. And then you're just gonna pulse all of this together until it's a really pretty fine powder. These ingredients are what are gonna bind your sausages together. And then also um, just for some omega-3s and to also help bind together, you add in some flaxseed as well. Ground flaxseed that is. And then after that, you can add in your can of rinsed chickpeas. and your onions and spice mixture. And lastly, you'll add in all of your wet ingredients as well. And then you're just gonna pulse this together until it really starts to kind of stick together. And you may need to scrape down your food processor a few times just to make sure everything is well mixed and to make sure you don't have any like big chunks of chickpea in there. And then after you were done processing it, add in the other part of your oats and that just helps give it a good texture. Stir your oats in and then we'll just pulse this a few times. You don't wanna pulse too many times cause you want your oats to mainly remain whole. And then next, um, of course, preheat your oven and then on a lined baking sheet with parchment paper, you'll patty out your sausages. And I just use this ice cream scooper or cookie dough scooper and it's probably like two or three tablespoons worth. And I just use those and make balls and then I flatten them out. And it helps if you wet your hands before doing this so that the sausage doesn't stick. And this made, I believe, it makes usually six to eight sausage patties. And then you just bake them until they'll until they're golden brown. And you can flip them over halfway too to ensure even cooking. But let me tell you guys, these things taste so delicious. Mm -hmm. And just look at that texture. You would never know they're made from chickpeas. My favorite way to serve these are on a English muffin with some vegan cheese my tofu scramble which i also have a recipe for this and then the chickpea sausage patty it is so good guys
Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you really enjoyed this recipe and decide to try it on your own. And if you do, please comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And as always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I keep creating more content just like this. Bye!